His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 68 of the year 2019 appointing Nadir Khalil Al Muayyad as CEO of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. The decree stipulates that the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism has to implement this decree from the time of its issuance. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Jabr Al Ahmed Al Sabah, where he congratulated His Highness the Emir for returning to Kuwait after undergoing successful medical checkups. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Highness with eternal health and happiness. His Majesty hailed the historic and fraternal ties between Bahrain and Kuwait, wishing the country and its people further progress and prosperity under His Highness's leadership. For his part, His Highness the Emir expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments, which reflect the depth of bilateral ties, wishing His Majesty the Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the participants in the conference on zakat and development led by the member of the Council of Muslim Elders Ali Al Amin and Vice President of Al Azhar University Professor Dr. Mohammed Abu Zaid Al Amir Mahmoud. Organized by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Zakat and Charity Fund with a wide international participation. His Majesty the King welcomed the guests, noting the participation of this distinguished elite of scientists, experts and specialists in the conference, which provides an important opportunity to discuss ideas and initiatives that efficiently achieve the goals of Zakat. His Majesty affirmed the importance of this international conference and its discussions, which included the importance of investing in scientific research to activate the sustainable and civilized roles of Zakat and form a vision for the overall good of this religious duty and its developmental applications. He expressed thanks for the efforts of the Zakat and Charity Fund, the conference's organizers wishing the participants success. His Majesty the King highlighted Bahrain's important achievements in the financial and banking sectors in light of its 2030 economic vision, which is based on the principles of sustainability, competitiveness, justice and social solidarity. solidarity. His Majesty added that the Kingdom is one of the pioneers in the development of the Islamic banking sector at the global level and has achieved great success in attracting prestigious regional and international financial institutions and laid down the necessary rules and regulations to serve charitable and humanitarian work. His Majesty also highlighted that the Zakat and Charity Fund was established by the late Emir His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa to achieve the principles of effective community partnership. For their part, the participants expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for hosting the event and the warm welcome and generous hospitality they received. They hailed Bahrain's pivotal role in supporting and enhancing the Islamic banking and finance march and its pioneering experience at the level of charitable and humanitarian work which stems from the teachings of Islam and authentic Bahraini values.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Savria Palace the President of the Financial and Administrative Control Bureau, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, where he presented to His Majesty the 16th Financial and Administrative Control Bureau report for the year 2018 2019. His Majesty hailed the efforts exerted by the President of the Financial and Administrative Control Bureau and its caters, noting their outstanding performance and their achievements in preserving public funds and verifying the safety and legitimacy of expenditure in light of the keenness on applying the highest levels of integrity, professionalism and transparency in the reports. His Majesty also commended the Bureau's vital role in assuming its responsibilities optimally and maintaining the independence of its work to contribute to improving the performance of ministries and ensure achieving the highest levels of productivity, efficiency and optimal utilization of all resources. The President of the Financial and Administrative Control Bureau expressed honor in presenting His Majesty with the report for which the Bureau devoted all its potential to achieve its goals and activate its functions, in addition to briefing His Majesty on the Bureau's future development programs. Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed stated that the report is considered the 16th edition the Bureau issues as a financially and administratively independent body from the legislative and executive authorities. He added that the development and growth of the Bureau since its establishment as a result of the support it receives from His Majesty the King, expressing honor in listening to the directives and remarks of His Majesty the King on the report. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, on the occasion of his return to Kuwait after undergoing successful medical checkups. His Royal Highness wished the Emir eternal health and happiness and Kuwait further progress and prosperity under His Highness's leadership. His Majesty the King's personal representative and the President of the Supreme Council of Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the winning of Bahrain One Team, the 2019 Promote World Championship in the Pinula Team Race at the Charlotte Circuit in Concord, North Carolina, USA. His Highness praised the great support of the leadership to the Bahraini sports, so which contributed in the kingdom's achievements in the different sporting events on the regional and world levels. His Highness also asserted that the constant support provided by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to motorsports in the kingdom has significantly contributed to the achievement of many gains at various levels and setting the name of Bahrain 1 at the top of the world championship teams. His Highness pointed out that Bahrain won uh, led in the championship since its first rounds in evidence of the strength of the team's preparations, which resulted in the crowning of the world title, praising the great efforts exerted by the team and drivers in the season to take the podiums and control competitions from the start. Bahrain One has won the 2019 Promote World Championship with Steve Jackson winning the, the penultimate round of the tournament. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the Board of Directors members of the Bahraini Football Association and the national team players in the presence of the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman Al Muayyad. His Highness conveyed the appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the players after the honorable win against Iran, which qualified them to the World Cup and the Asian Cup. His Highness praised the achievements of the national team and stressed his keenness to provide them with the suitable environment to help them achieve more progress. He hailed their high spirits in their performance and expressed pleasure with the result to qualify for the World Cup. His Highness affirmed the importance of exerting more efforts in the upcoming matches and expressed full confidence in the team, wishing them further success. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his continuous support that helped in making several achievements. The President of the Bahrain Football Association, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, praised the support of His Highness, affirming that this support is the motivation to keep moving forward.
This is Majdi, the King's representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs and the chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended yesterday Bahrain's national football team match against Iran in the qualifying rounds of the World Cup and the Asian Cup that was held at Bahrain's national stadium, where Bahrain won 1 to 0. His Highness asserted that the victory of the national team against Iran is an optimistic note that the team will continue to compete for winning. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the players of the national team played a big game against their Iranian counterparts and showed high levels throughout the game that proved their determination and strength in competing to win the qualifying cards for the World Cup and the Asian Cup. His Highness said that he has witnessed the determination of the team to come out with a positive result and the players eventually delivered on the promise by winning the game and yielding seven points in total with an atmosphere optimistic among the team and the fans. His Highness added that after the national team's victory over the Iranian team, the team must look forward in preparations for the upcoming games. His Highness praised the support of the fans who His Highness said have always been loyal to the national team under all circumstances and from whom the team's players get their confidence and determination. His Highness also praised the good level of sportsmanship that characterized the game as well as the level of performance of the Iranian team who His Highness said represented a difficult opponent for the Bahraini team. The Representatives Council Speaker Fauzi Zainal and Head of the Parliamentary Delegation to the 141st meeting of the Interparliamentary Union, the IPU, in the Serbian capital Belgrade, gave a speech in the presence of speakers and members of Arab, regional and international parliamentarians, as well as members of the IPU. She affirmed that those fundamental represent a constant approach in the foreign policy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which earned the Kingdom global respect. Zainal stressed Bahrain's keenness to maintain an active member in the international legal system. She pointed out the Kingdom's accession to international agreements as well as uh, covenants and amendments uh, through national legislation to keep them in tune with those agreements. She also underlined Bahrain's commitment to uh, no interference in other countries' internal affairs and adherence to international legitimacy. Zainal pointed out cooperation between the legislative and executive branches to promote 
promote international law, stressing the kingdom's leading state is intolerance and peaceful coexistence. For more on this topic, we are joined from Serbia by Shura Council Member Hala Kresa. Hello, Ms. Hala. Hello, dear. Um, good evening and um, well, um, good evening to your viewers. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm going to start off by asking you, can you tell us about Bahrain's parliamentary delegation's participation in these meetings? Yes, uh, the parliamentary delegation, of course, is headed by Her Excellency Ms. Saudi Zainal. And it's taking part in the uh, 141st Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union and the 205th Governing Council meeting also, as well as the standing committees and the related forums that are taking place in Belgrade, Serbia, as you mentioned earlier, and uh, where the theme of the general debate is uh, strengthening international law, uh, parliamentary role and mechanisms and the contribution of the general cooperation. Uh, of course, the participation um, is considered very important as uh, it contributes to the interparliamentary relationship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and uh, other countries, as well as uh, promoting and strengthening um, interparliamentary friendship committees. Uh, also, during these event, such events, um, there's a huge exchange of views and ideas concerning uh, various issues and matters, uh, both regionally and internationally, um, that, of course, enrich our democrat democratic experience and practices, and also allow us to follow the best practice in our democratic processes. Great. Uh, Ms. Hala, you didn't leave us anything else to, uh, to question. Thank you very much for joining us and for answering our question. As part of the Middle East Process Engineering Conference and Exhibition, the MEPIC 2019, the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in the presence of Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Women, Hala Mohammed Al Ansari, inaugurated the Third Leadership Excellence for Women Symposium in the Oil and Gas Sector, LIWAS 2019, this morning. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. The National Oil and Gas Authority, along with the Supreme Council for Women, support women's empowerment and the sustainability of their professional development in the energy field today through the third Leadership Excellence for Women's Symposium in the oil and gas sector, inaugurated by Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa as part of MEPIC 2019 events. Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Women, Hala Mohammed Al Ansari, praised the favorable environment for Bahraini women to work in this vital sector. It is a very specialized platform where women around the world meet from the oil and gas uh, sector. And um, it was a, a very good uh, opportunity, as I told you, for the Supreme Council for Women to hear more from the sector on how uh, women are uh, trying hard in order to succeed in their role in, 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 uh, in the field of uh, gas and oil. The Minister of Oil pointed out that the topics and discussions presented in the symposium came in line with the directions and objectives of the Supreme Council of Women this year towards celebrating women in the field of higher education and future sciences and encourage innovation, highlighting that Bahrain is full of women competences. The minister also extended congratulations to all the honored women at the award ceremony for their excellence in their work and initiatives. The importance of diversity uh, in any organization, but in particular I would believe that in the oil and gas industry is critical. Why? Because it has been proven over and over, globally, regionally, and as well nationally, that having that diversity it's good for business, it's good for profitability, uh, competitiveness. Very well attended as you can see by people in the industry and it's an amazing opportunity to see examples of, of women leaders uh, and of course for male supporters in the industry. 
and I see this as a real platform of sharing experiences, especially in the region. We have some amazing examples in, in the region. It's been very exciting and dynamic. So we're seeing more and more women come into the industry, particularly here in Bahrain and around the Middle East. I think the quality of women, that we're seeing the academic quality, the results, the work that's been done. And again, we're hearing this from senior leaders over and over again, the CEOs of the industry, all of them in this region and around the world, they all know the value of having more women involved. The symposium witnessed a wide participation of leading females from institutions, oil and industrial companies, also related officials from the region with the aim of communicating and improving knowledge and women's empowerment in leadership positions in the sector. One of MEPIC 2019 events is the third so Leadership Excellence at Symposium for Women, which continues to support, accommodate, recognize and empower women in the energy field. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Middle East Chemical Powered Car Competition yesterday within MEPIC 2019 events hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Warrant this report with Hibab Abdul Ghaffar. Aiming to encourage the next generation of operation engineers in the region to innovate and add intellectual value to the growth of the process engineering sector. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Middle East Chemical Powered Car Competition today within MEPIC 2019 events organized by the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. He noted that the aim of this competition is to challenge university students to develop and construct a car powered by a chemical or biochemical energy source which will safely transport a specified weight over a given distance and then stop. A practical and fun way for students to apply their knowledge and principles in the field of chemical engineering and help build leadership skills at the same time, develop interest and expertise in alternative fuels with a focus on operational integrity. Distance and the weight will be announced one hour before the competition. So before that, they have to do calibration. So when we tell them that we needed to stop at this distance, they have to go back to their calibration, prepare all the solution, and put it in the car and let it move and stop at the dedicated distance. The Minister of Oil expressed his great pleasure that the Kingdom of Bahrain has embraced such types of events specialized in the use of chemical energy as an alternative energy for fuel and praised the participation of a number of local, regional and international universities in this competition. All the study, study, study chemical engineering, but uh, when I get into this competition, I found that I can see chemical engineering uh, on fact, you can apply it. So it was um, a very nice try and a very nice uh, sharing. Chemical engineer design is one of the most important aspects. Also controlling the temperature, the timing, uh, all of these uh, barometers, let's say, variables uh, have been learned from such competitions. Really proud that this is held here in Bahrain, having this amazing opportunity here, uh, so close to us and having this uh, diversity of cultures here in Bahrain, knowing the different mindsets of people from all over the Middle East. We have like five teams here today. The University of Science and Technology of Jordan won the first place. King Fahd University of Petroleum and Minerals of Saudi Arabia won the second place and University of Bahrain won the third place. The winning teams will compete internationally at the 2019 Annual American Institute of Chemical Engineers Student Conference in the United States of America. The Chief Executive Officer of Information and E-Government, Mohammed Ali Al-Qaid, headed the 10th meeting of the Committee for the Evaluation of Government Services, Taqim 2019, which was held at the headquarters in Isa Town. 
Al-Qaeda affirmed that the launch of Taqim 2 reflects the success of the first edition of the program, which was driven by the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to reinforce the effectiveness and efficiency of the government services through constant evaluation in accordance with the government plan 2019-2022 and the conclusions of the government form 2019. During the meeting, the committee's members discussed how the evaluation process is carried out at government services centers and presented a list of the government centers that have been included within the scope of Taqim 2019's evaluation process. The committee also noted its method for evaluation, which includes visits to the centers and sending mystery shoppers to a total of 19 centers. The Ministry of Education has built and opened a number of new public schools in addition to completing a set of additional buildings in existing schools, which will contribute to providing more educational services for all students. The Ministry of Education was quick to reveal its many construction projects, which included classes for the integration of people with special needs, classes for the gifted, multi-purpose halls and advanced labs. The Ministry of Education, represented by Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, is keen to inspect new construction projects. The minister affirmed that these projects reflect the support of the country's leadership to the education sector in Bahrain. Religious liberties and interfaith tolerance atmospheres in Bahrain have been highly commended. This came in a speech delivered before the British Parliament by Special Envoy of the UK Prime Minister for Religious Freedom, Rahman Shristi, after paying a fruitful and successful visit to Bahrain on October 8th and 9th, during which he met His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The British MP also met officials, residents and citizens in Bahrain and experienced the exemplary tolerance and peaceful coexistence in the kingdom. Christie hinted that the UK can learn from the rich experience of Bahrain that dates back to 1893 AD when the first church was built in the Arabian Gulf country, a Hindu temple constructed two centuries ago, as well as other places of worship. He recommended to work with Bahrain and international partners to promote religious freedoms and the culture of tolerance around the globe.